Oh, you know when I have my apron and hair tied up. We mean business. Should I put some chopsticks in there? Should I put like a... <laughs> my bun actually adds like 10 centimeters to my height. Is that counted? So am I actually tall enough? Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'm going to be testing out this miniature pottery wheel. So Alfred got me this miniature pottery wheel because I've been bugging him that I wanted an actual bigger wheel, but he, uh, we both compromised and he got me this. It's like literally a little wheel that rotates and it comes with a USB plug so you can just plug it in. On the side here is a little knob that like you can turn it and adjust the speed. But yeah, it's pretty basic, pretty simple. I actually don't know why this is like so big and the wheel's like tiny. I guess like the motor and parts are all in here. Now, in case you guys haven't watched my other pottery videos, um, I've actually tried wheel throwing on the proper um, sort of machine. And then um, I've tried like a kid's version. And now we're gonna be trying the mini version. It's actually been a while since I've done pottery. I guess because like I've been really into nail and nail art lately. So normally I would have long nails, right? And when you do pottery, you pretty much need to cut them very short. And so this is the only time that I have short nails and I was like, yes, I can finally do some pottery. So I'm glad that this came in the mail. Um, I think we bought this for, how much was it be? Maybe like $50? Something around that. Um, I guess it's like not super cheap. It's not like a complete like kids toy. I think the kids toy was like, I don't know, $15. Um, this is a little bit more pricey, but then much, much cheaper than an actual um, wheel throwing. What would I call it the machine? The wheel throwing, throwing thing. <laughs> Those can like go up to uh, like a couple thousands. But yeah, Alfred, are you listening? He didn't let me get one. He's like, it's going to be too messy. You're not going to do it. And so this is what I have to work with. So I have some clay that I'm going to work with. I don't know what I'm going to throw yet. I think I'm going to be a bit rusty and it's going to be really difficult because it's going to be much smaller as well. So I've got some tools. I literally have a basket of tools here. I guess like random tools that I've collected and bought. I actually haven't used any of them because you know what? I thought I'd get a pottery wheel, like a pro one, but I never did. And so that's why I have these, but I think it's actually going to be like too big. You know what I mean? Like if I'm going to be using these tools, it's going to be like bigger than the actual pot that, that I'm going to make. So I'm going to just see what works, but I have like a little stick here as well. It's, a, it's just like a cuticle, a uh, wooden, an orange wood stick and so I'm gonna like try to throw with that and obviously my fingers and of course I have a little uh, glass of water because you need to dip your fingers and get the clay wet so it's a bit more malleable so you can you know mold it and kind of shape it so I have that and yeah I guess that's all I need so let's get started okay so i'm actually going to plug it into my little portable charger here let's try it out first where's the plug it's uh much more um quiet than the kids pottery wheel that one was like so this one's actually um i feel like it's very quiet the motor i need to prepare my clay I'm just gonna like pinch a little ball off. <laughs> Ugh, it kind of looks like, you know what it looks like. So I'm just going to, I guess, knead it. And then roll it into a little ball. I just put like a dab of water i don't know okay guys i feel like that's how you like no 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 water no it's not gonna stick <laughs> we're off to a great start okay let's just pop it on and hope that it doesn't fly off i think that's on yeah 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 we'll 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 agree yes okay if i turn this on it flies off oh, god help me okay i'm just gonna turn it on I mean, I've got my clay on there. Now I have to center my 
my ball of clay. So that means just like pushing it to the center, making it like smack bang in the center. <laughs> this is so, oh my god, it's like, oh my god. How do I center it when it's so small? Usually I use like my arm to push it in, so it's got to. This, this is not easy. How come like when I watch all those compilations of them doing the midi pottery, it's like, it looks so easy. I need to push the base in. Alf's coaching me when we both haven't done pottery in like, I don't know, how long? Has it been a year? Oh, you know what, I'm just gonna start with like the basic cylinder. Why do I remember pottery being so like relaxing and suddenly I feel so stressed with this little thing? Next, I need to open it up to kind of like create that hole inside so it can become like a cylinder. I don't know how thick the base is, I can't tell. This is pretty cool. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, it's not a complete fail. I think I'm actually doing pretty well. So usually I would like pull it up with a couple of fingers, but I just gotta like do the mini version. So I'm literally pushing the clay from the bottom up so it kind of gets a little bit taller. If you guys like want to try a new sort of hobby or craft, I'd highly recommend pottery. It's like challenging, but once you kind of get the basics, it's really fun. Is it getting taller? Oh, it's wobbling. She is wobbling. Okay, I think I've kind of got my cylinder. Let's cut the base. So I'm just gonna go straight down. Lay my stick flat and scrape that clay. Okay, so we have my cylinder. But I feel like it's kind of thick. The walls are a bit thick. She's thick. Do I have a tool in here that will help me? I'm gonna try kind of open it up a little bit more. I don't know what this is actually. I don't know where I got this one, but it was in my basket. So I'm just like pushing it against the side to try to widen out the walls. Ah, it's wobbling! She wobbling! Oh no, it's not centered anymore. This is where it can go all wrong. Okay, 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 okay. We're getting there. We're getting a little bit of height there. Oh, I don't want to ruin this. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. <sighs> Ooh, it's got some shape. She's getting curvy. She's getting curvy. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having this evil laugh, but I feel like a genius right now, a pottery genius. They call me Tina Potter. Why does it look so uneven when I stop it? When it was spinning, it looked fine. I don't know, but I think that my clay is a little bit grainy, and so I can't get that smooth top that I'm looking for. I guess it's just gonna have to be a rustic vase. I'm gonna change shape, last minute change. We're gonna do something else. Cause I can't make it thin. So cute. Okay, it's every time I stop it, it looks like poop. How do I get it to make be it smooth? This is my first piece. I mean, I'm quite happy with it. I obviously see lots of um, imperfections. That's the word I was looking for. Um, but yeah, not bad. I'm going to blast it with some hot air to dry out the clay. So I guess that's my first piece, guys. I'm going to continue with this and see um, if I can perfect it. And I'll try to make other shapes and stuff for you guys. So as I'm throwing these pieces, I actually don't have any idea what I'm going to make. I just kind of wing it and then just see how it goes, see what sort of shape that I get. It is a little bit hard controlling something so small and I feel like with this type of clay, because it has those little grains and textures, it is kind of like bugging me. But I'm just gonna keep trying, I'm gonna try to make it work. It's totally not in the center anymore. That's why it's like wobbling around everywhere. You can see. 
But you know what, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm going to dry it. Okay, so these are the minis that I've thrown. They look okay, they're pretty cute, but I feel like I need to use a different type of clay. And so I actually went out and got some. I got this type of air drying modeling clay in white. So I'm going to try this. Hopefully it's going to be a smoother sort of clay. Plus I found some mini clay tools. So I, I bought this to try out. Maybe I can create some different patterns with these. So let's try it out. This white clay definitely feels a lot better. It feels a lot smoother. It's also softer as well. So I feel like it is easier to work with. I do find it really hard to just like center the clay though. I don't know. I think it's just because I can't put like heaps of force because it stops the wheel. And if I don't put enough, it doesn't center. And so it's kind of like this balancing game. Okay, I'm done with my first new piece. And you know what? <laughs> I made a couple of mistakes. I actually didn't know what shape I was gonna make, but it's looking quite good. I do feel like I'm kind of slowly getting the hang of it. But again, it is really sort of difficult to work with something so small. And of course, I did have lots of hiccups along the way. Like for example, the whole thing flying off the wheel. <laughs> that did happen a few times. <gasps> oh no, it dropped off. Well, at least it's still intact. I'm just gonna try to pop it back on and smooth it out a little bit with my fingers and then I don't think I'm gonna touch this one anymore. It blew off, oh my gosh. I'm just gonna blow dry it. Okay, so I spent the last two days doing my mini pottery project. These are the pieces that I made. So I worked with both the brown clay in the beginning and then the white clay. Overall, I'm really happy with my pieces. You know what, I thought I would like the white better, but I do like like the brown as well. I guess because it's textured, it does give it that rustic feel. And yeah, I think anything mini looks super cute. Originally, I wanted to paint these, but I think that they would kind of look better just as is, and I can just find little plants or just a place to store them in. Overall, I had lots of fun and moments of stress whilst doing this. I feel like wheel throwing on its own on the bigger wheel is already hard so kind of using those skills on something much smaller is difficult as well but it is doable I think it's just like a lot of adjusting the pressure and stuff the thing that surprised me the most was I didn't realize how messy my room would get like I have like clay everywhere I still have it on my hands it flew across to like my monitor it's just literally everywhere and for such a tiny thing I didn't expect it to be like so messy and so I feel like I'm kind of glad that I never committed and bought the bigger wheel because God knows what my room would look like after not to mention all the dust and debris <sighs> Oh my god, I'm so tired. I, I didn't think that making something so small would take so much effort and that I would be so tired. I'm actually like sweating underneath here and I just can't wait to take a shower, guys. So I think that is it to this episode of Tina Tries. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys want to try out mini pottery, you can search it up online. I think they have it. I think I got it from Lazada, if I remember correctly. I'll link it for you guys below. For those of you who are new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like this video, and I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye! I just forgot I had clay all over my hands. Nice one, Tina.